Okay, we have from the PGA Tour the full field for the Creator Classic. This is interesting. Okay, we got, we got everything. People are asking me, am I playing in the Creator Classic? Am I playing in the... No, I am not playing in the Creator Classic at East Lake during the Tour Championship the Wednesday, the day of. That is um, not something I'll be playing in. I was not invited to play in it either. So no invite, no, it's fine. Let's see who is playing. So the, the 16 players are here. I'm gonna go through them. And then we're gonna talk about, here we go. Okay, so we've got Tyler from Dude Perfect. So he's in. We have Garrett Clark, who's gonna be playing. Brad Dahlke, good, good. Sean Walsh, he's also with good, good. Paige Sporanic, okay. So she's playing, so they have some women included in the field. Fat Perez, uh, Roger Steele, he's kind of a Callaway ambassador, uh, if you're not familiar with Roger. And uh, we played with him out at Pinehurst in, during the par three at the, the cradle. That was cool, he's a good dude. Wesley Bryan, who um, could have potentially qualified for the Tour Championship, but he didn't, he didn't um, make the playoff. So he, but. PGA, he's a PGA Tour player, winner. He's a former winner on the tour. So he's in. He'll probably win this. I would. That would be my vote. He's the best player in the field. His brother, George Bryan, who's probably one of the top players in the field as well. Micah Morris, you know who he is. And we have Peter Finch coming out from the UK. Good for Peter. Luke Kwan, Amy Cho. She uh, goes by golf with Amy. She's been around a while. And she, uh, then Mac Boucher, Boucher Boucher. Then uh, we have Gabby Girl Golf. So they're including a young, I believe she's 15 or 16. I don't know too much about her, 15 or 16 year old. Um, and she's playing. And then Mason Nutt from Bust to Jack. Those are the players in the field. Okay. So why would they select these players? That is a uh, really um, great question. So um, let's. Now that creator classic from the PGA Tour. Okay, this is something that's interesting because it is the first time they've been doing something like this. So I'm just gonna read here the creator classic. It is presented by Blackstone. Okay, now do you know who Blackstone is? Blackstone, they make grills, griddles and grills, stuff like that, barbecue equipment. So that's Blackstone. And this um, is going to have 16 events. They're going to play eight holes. Then they're going to have the top four players um, play a playoff on the final hole. Or play the final hole, the ninth hole. Or the 18th hole there at Eastlake. So they're playing the back nine. Now, it's going to be streamed on PGA Tours YouTube and Fast Channels. Peacock and ESPN Plus will also add new elements to the golf broadcast. Okay, so that is important. So... It's going to be on the PGA Tours YouTube channel. And so none of these people are going to be able to make their own personal content and put it on their own channels. At least they're not going to be able to do it. And if they do have the ability to do that, which I don't believe they're going to be able to do that, they won't be able to upload for a certain period of time. There will be an embargo time. So the PGA Tour is basically going to do everything, have it all streamed, stuff like that. So my theory of why they chose these particular players, which, and I've got a couple thoughts on that. And let me know what you think. If they should have, who they have, who should they add to this? Should they make it bigger? Should they do more of this on a weekly basis at different tour events? Should there be some type of creator um, tour where at the PGA tour events, they do this and they could have some type of team event. I think it's best if it's a team event and these creators have uh, link up with uh, three or two, three or four person teams. That's what I think would be personally the best, but who knows, you know, it's all about availability and things like that. I think the Wednesday is a great idea because it's something that, um, you know, the practice rounds kind of die down on that Wednesday after the pro-am, typically the pro-am, but this is a great 
testing ground at the tour championship because you're limited to how many pros are playing like 30 so you have the top 30 pros vying for that final spot and so there's a lot less pga tour players trying to play practice rounds so it's it makes this a little more you know doable on this particular wednesday so that's good and i think i've always said that live should do this and live should have creator teams exactly like they have the live teams but creator teams and then they're already streaming group by group or hole by hole so you could follow whatever creators you would want to follow whenever you want on their app and their uh, on their uh, website you could follow along group by group on the desktop i think you could do it on the mobile app now too and that's, so i've always thought this was a brilliant idea so then we go into why they chose these particular players. I personally think the reason they chose them was because they're trying to get ESPN Plus and Peacock subscriptions. That's what I think the main push is going to be, that if you want to watch these, these creators play in the, at Eastlake, then the best way to see your people is going to be on ESPN Plus paid subscription, through the app and Peacock. And I think they want that these people are selected. And, you know, you, you look at here like Grant, uh, uh, Grant Horvat isn't here, but apparently, you know, he has a scheduling conflict, so he couldn't make it anyways. So I think they selected these players of people who can drive subscriptions. Okay, so that's what I think. Even though this event is sponsored by Blackstone, and Blackstone makes barbecue equipment. So I would think that you would want creators that appeal, that have the audience of barbecue, grill, griddle audience. I would think you would, if I'm the sponsor, if I'm Blackstone and I'm gonna market my stuff, I would look and say, okay, does Tyler from Do Perfect reach my target he bet yeah he does he's got an audience although they have a much very young audience i think they also have the dads and a little bit older audience that are going to watch them as well so he's got that checkbox check mark right there garrett clark young audience so no brad Dalkey, no sean walsh no Paige sporanic maybe she gets dudes right so dudes would buy okay depends on the age but um potentially yes fat perez 100 percent beer drinking like guys a little bit younger but nonetheless he gets the audience so check mark for fat press roger Steele, i don't know um he's kind of an instagram primarily guy he does a lot of with cal i don't know that's a question mark for me wesley bryan and george bryan maybe i don't know micah no he younger audience peter finch maybe in the uk Probably not here. Luke Kwan, no. Amy Cho, no. Mac, no. 15-year-old girl, I doubt it. And Mason Nut, maybe. So in the Blackstone category, I think maybe four of them might actually reach the audience that you would want. I would think I would per personally say, okay, who has the Blackstone audience? So that would be one thing I... If I'm Blackstone, <laughs> like I would make sure that my the people in here reach the target. But then again, we're gonna say, okay, who's gonna watch them? They all have a fairly large, let's say, Instagram uh, reach. They don't all have large YouTube reaches individually, but some do, some don't. A lot of them are just primarily Instagram, like. Well, dude, perfect. They have millions. Garrett, yeah, great. Brad, he's with Good Good, so he, yeah, he gets a fair amount of views. But in the Good Good world, Sean Walsh, same thing. Paige, she reaches everybody everywhere. Fat Perez, uh, mostly Instagram, unless he's with Bob to Sports. Then they go both ways. Rogers, primarily Instagram. George and Wesley, both, great. Micah. Both, yeah, Peter, both, Luke Kwan, probably mostly YouTube, uh, younger audience. Amy, she's, she, she's got that, she reaches that Asian market, huge Asian um, influence there. So 
that could be a home run for that market. And uh, so she does good. Mac, I'm not sure, probably mostly Instagram. Gabby, like primarily Instagram from what I, I don't know, but I'm thinking mostly Instagram, Mason, YouTube. Okay. How many of these people can drive people to ESPN plus subscriptions and or Peacock subscriptions? And if you just go through the list, I think that's, that's where I think they're going for here is they want young subscribers to their streaming platforms, ESPN and Peacock. That's what I think they're going for here. So if we're wondering why these are the players, then I think um, now we know. We don't have, surprisingly, where's Rick Shields? Why isn't he here? Why don't we see Rick, the number one, like, was he invited? What I would imagine he would be invited. Why did he not come? We don't know. So that would be the one question mark. You know, so there's there's a few others. I, I would also say, like, you tell me. Who's missing? Who should be added? There's 16. Would, I mean, would I do it? Am I bent out of shape for me not be? No, I'm not. Like, this is something that is new. It's growing. We'll see how it evolves over time. I always have questions is what, you know, what, how is it going to do really? Like, are you going to tune in to watch this? I think I, I mean, I will, because I want to know what's, what's going on, but are you interested in this? We'll see. We're going to see that we'll see the numbers on the PGA tour, but this is a result of the good, good events on Peacock and streaming with NBC Peacock. So it's a, you know, this is the PGA tours version of what good, good has been doing in their two previous events. And they're like, okay, now we're going to try one ourselves. So that is what this is. I wish it was bigger. I wish there were more and I wish it was teamed up so that I could root for a specific team. Like there's team good, good. There's team Rick Shields. There's team whoever, right? That's what I would want to see. Or there's a draft party and there's groupings and we're picking teams and you get to be a part of all of it. And then you could place your bets or have fun with that. That's what I think should be added. It's a growing, it's an evolving thing. We'll see how it plays out. But that's your field for the creator classic. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for listening. We'll see you soon.